Hello, I'm Tim. I'm the product manager for the package stage at GitLab. And today I just wanted to do a quick speed run of a new feature that we just launched on GitLab.com, uh, which adds support for NPM tags to the GitLab NPM registry. This will also be available in milestone 12.8, um, but it is available now on GitLab.com. So what this allows you to do is to, uh, when you are publishing a package to GitLab, you can add a tag. You can also remove the tag uh, and you can list tags that are, are related as well. So I started a project here, uh, it's called NPM Tags, and I can navigate to the packages list. And I see I, I published one version here already, but let's go through and, and do the full round of changes. So let's bump this to version 2.0. And then I will publish with the tag, let's call it demo. Okay, so it looks like it published with that tag. Let's see if it shows up in the user interface. I see my version here. I could click through to see the package details. And I could see that my tag here is identified as demo. That's great. So I could also install this, uh, this particular package with that tag into another project. So I could copy this command here. I have a separate tab open in my uh, terminal here. So let's see, I copy that. And so this is going to install this package, but I want to install a specific uh, tag. I think it is slash demo oh it might it's at not slash okay great so now i just installed the package and i could see i could list the tags that are associated with this and check so we'll say gitlab slash org slash And I could see that the demo tag is here. Okay, I'm gonna go one more change. I think I'm back into my NPM tags project. I think let's try removing this demo tag uh, and see if it shows up in the user interface. So we'll say it's NPM, this tag, RM, and then Okay, so this will remove the, the demo tag. Looks good. So if I refresh here in the user interface and the tag went away. Great, so today I showed off how you can list tags in the NPM registry, how you can create and add a new one and how it shows up in the user interface and how you can remove it and how that will be reflected in the user interface as well. Uh, really excited for this feature to be available in 12.8, but again, it is on gitlab.com, so you can start using it today. Um, let me know if you have any questions.